remember you are bigger than your karma. <laughs> you are stronger than your karma. If you compare the karma as a drop of the water, you are the ocean. Why do you bother about the drop when you are the ocean? After all, the drop is just a part of the ocean. The drop will dissolve into the ocean any moment. So as your karma. Everyone is carrying certain certain amount of karma. Nobody is exceptional. <laughs> Sometimes the drop feels like the ocean. No. Yeah, because because you think that the drop is the ocean. You think. <laughs> you decorate. You decorate the drop as an ocean. Hence, the drop is creating a fear in you. A small drop is capable of creating a fear in you because of your imagination. That is not the truth. A drop is a drop. Karma is nothing but a drop. You are the ocean. Realize it, not simply just understanding, yes, high emotion. It's not enough. You have to experience that, that you are ocean. Then you will see the drop has drop. The fear goes away. You will not be bothered about doing with the karma. You don't have to do anything with the karma. What you are supposed to do is that realize that you are ocean. The moment you realize that you are bigger than karma, naturally the drop dissolves into the ocean. You realize also that it is nothing but part of me. You will become very friendly with your karma. <laughs> You will enjoy. <laughs> you can play with it. <laughs> even the, even the self-realized people, enlightened people, they themselves have got their own karma. No one is exceptional. The only difference is the realized people, they simply play with their karma. The other people, they are afraid of karma. <laughs> That's the only difference. What is the wise way? The wise way is just to play with the karma. <laughs> we need certain toys to play, you know. <laughs> Take the karma as a little toy. <laughs> play here and there. Don't be afraid of. It is very tiny. Compared to you, you are the ocean, it is just a drop. Mm -hmm.